this is a technique video, and it's a bit different from what I normally do. The last one I made of this kind was three facts about the double wrist lock, and it was a long time ago. I've been meaning to mix it up from time to time and share a little bit about my approach to grappling. I chose catch wrestling because I needed something wrestling-based that worked for my MMA fights and fights in general. In SCW, which is the style of catch wrestling I practice, we only use the guard when it's absolutely necessary. That means we don't deliberately pull guard unless it's for an immediate attack or immediate defense. We generally avoid pinning ourselves. When we are on the bottom, we try to go back to our feet. And we definitely don't butt scoot. However, we still have to be well versed in the guard. And one of the techniques that work really well, both from the guard and on our feet, is the arm drag. This is me hitting different arm drag variations in grappling tournaments in expert divisions. I don't let competitions influence my approach to grappling because I believe sports rule sets change constantly and often shield practitioners from reality, diverting us from the martial applications. So, finding success in competition is just a bonus. This instructional is about the arm drag from the guard and solving three common contingencies. It doesn't cover fundamentals and it's assumed that you have a basic grappling understanding. For fundamentals, check out the SCW Yellow Belt series. Basic arm drag from the guard. As most of you know, the arm drag is an effective tool to create windows of attack. A window of attack is often an angle on your opponent. In an ideal scenario, to hit an arm drag from the guard, your opponent has his center of gravity at mid-height, around a 45-degree angle, and makes contact with your legs. You start by guiding one of your opponent's arms inwards. You don't always have to grip his wrist, you just have to guide it inwards. At the same time, you dig in and hook his other arm as deep as possible. Now, you can use your foot to quickly pull yourself towards your opponent, landing on your side. You can place your foot outside or inside. Once the arm drag is completed, you have successfully created an angle, which gives you several options of attack. The most common is taking your opponent's back. However, your opponent will often react by accepting the bottom position to protect his back. Note that I place my other foot on his waist. This is optional, but it will prevent your opponent from countering with a pass. If that's the case, you could also counter his pass with a choke, but you have to be expecting it and time it properly. To do so, you have to completely turn your back. If you don't, you won't be able to reach his neck. Contingency number one, first line of defense. In SCW, contingencies are common ways your opponent blocks your attacks. When you're working inside your opponent's guard, your first line of defense is your forehead. This also applies when you are grappling on your feet. So, if your opponent is blocking you with his first line of defense, you won't be able to penetrate to execute the arm drag. In this case, you first need to fight to penetrate with your head, fainting from side to side, until you manage to place your head next to your opponent's head on the side of the arm you will drag. The same happens on your feet. Contingency number two, low center of gravity. A common way for your opponent to avoid the arm drag is to lower his center of gravity. Ideally, your opponent will raise his center of gravity to a 45 degree angle and try to control your legs. But if instead he decides to lower his center of gravity, he could pull his arm and block your arm drag. To solve this contingency, attempt the arm drag like you would normally do and use his reaction to shoot for a takedown. Note that you must launch your penetration at the same time you attempt the failed arm drag. To penetrate, place your leg at a 45 degree angle. Drive your weight forward to allow your shin to rotate, and you'll end up in a penetrating step position. In SCW, most sweeps from the guard are simply takedowns from the bottom and use the same principles as regular takedowns. It's important to mention when executing a takedown or sweep, avoid ending up inside your opponent's guard. Always try to clear your opponent's legs and block his posture to complete the pass. If you know your pass will fail, Disconnect from your opponent on time. To accomplish this, move your posture in a circular motion, letting your opponent go by himself, slightly raising his legs to keep him on the ground. Contingency number three, high center of gravity. 
An effective reaction to escape an early arm drag attempt is to completely raise your center of gravity to a 90 degree angle and pull your arm out in a vertical motion. If we anticipate this reaction, we can execute a locked arm drag instead of a regular one. With a regular arm drag, I want to create an angle and let my opponent pass by me. With a locked arm drag, I want to remain attached to my opponent's arm at all times. For this, you push your wrist towards him, pull his triceps towards you, and lock everything with your head. This will make it difficult for him to pull his arm out. If he insists, simply go with him, landing on top, or taking his back. If, instead of pulling, your opponent decides to defend by driving his weight on you, it will be very difficult for you to complete the previous attack. So, to exploit this reaction, execute the following sweep. To do so, pull yourself with your feet and get your center of gravity under his center of gravity. Elevate him with your butterfly hooks, pulling his arm at the same time, and take his back. If your opponent tries to block your previous attack by putting his weight on one side, you can exploit his reaction by executing a basic butterfly sweep. Escape your hips to create an angle between you and your opponent, ideally a 90 degree angle. Plant the ball of your foot and extend your leg to complete the sweep. Don't forget to check out the new Brazilian Luta Livre t-shirt from Gotch Fightwear. The links are in the description or visit gotchfightwear.com. This video was produced by Didos and the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Join the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Visit our official website at submissionwrestlingarts.com.